So how's it going, guys? I wanted to review The Punisher Episode 1. So I'm a couple episodes into this series already, but I want to start with the first episode. I don't want to crowd it with, you know, talking about a bunch of episodes here. So I was very impressed by this first episode and the whole introduction to the series. Uh, there was a, a, a nice intro for this, you know, getting to see the Punisher at his best. We see him putting the costume away. And then he tries to kind of live a life that's not really going so well at a construction job. Um, and the story here was just so well done. Just to kind of introduce you to the character, introduce you to Frank Castle's demons. Um, so basically what we have here is this storyline is we see a, a new kid coming onto the construction site. Frank Castle spends his days whacking a fucking wall with a sledgehammer constantly. They all think he's nuts. They think he's retarded. They think something's wrong with the guy. So we see that one of the, uh, the guys at the construction site gets himself into hot water. Um, he's borrowed money. So they decide to steal from the mob. Um, you know, so he could pay up his debts. So they get the, the, this new kid who's come onto the construction site. They, you know, the guy wants to fit in. He talks to Frank a little bit. He gets to know Frank. So they, they take this guy to do a, um, a job, uh, to steal from the mob. And I love this part because the guys all get together. They, they, they go to rob the mob during a poker game. And, uh, you know, they're telling the kid, put the money in the bag, take all the money, puts the money in the bag. And, uh, you know, his uh, his bag gets caught on one of the chairs at the poker table um, and he drops the money. So as he bends down to go pick up the money, uh, his his wallet falls out and you can, he could see his ID. And the funny thing is because they have their faces covered. Um, and it's one of the guys from the mob says his name, he goes, oh, you really fucked this up, didn't you, Donald? I thought that was a great part. Not only was that hilarious, but that was like one of those tense moments in a show uh, where you really know that things are clicking. Uh, it's a small touch is all I'm saying. So um, they want to get rid of this guy um, now because now the mob knows who they are and they're going to try to, you know, find out who the rest of the guys are. Um, so, you know, they bring the kid back to the construction site and you know they're 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 gonna do something to him. They're planning on throwing him in, in into a vat of cement. Uh, and Frank happens to be there that night, um, and he pretty much creams all of the kids. You know that are trying to hurt this guy with, with the sledgehammer. And it is violent. It is awesome. It is you know there's something about the 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 Punisher movie with Thomas Jane was rated R. But I don't know what it is about Netflix. There's not as many restrictions. There is so much violence. These people are getting contorted as he's doing the Triple H to them and fucking bashing them with, with the uh, the sledgehammer. Um, I, I thought it was great. you know. And then he dumps them all into the cement, tells the kid to leave town. Um, it, and this was a great way to introduce the character. We know who Frank Castle is. We know he's a guy that, you know, he's looking to do good. It's hard for him to do good. He's tortured. His family has been killed. Uh, this was a great introduction to the uh, uh, to the series, um, and I've got to ser to episode two, and it's even better. Um, so I'll, I'm really excited to keep watching this series and seeing where it ends up. Um, you know, and, and throughout. So you see at the end that he just he shoots up the whole mob. So uh, he, you know. He, because they saw the kid's ID and everything, so now he completely took them out. So, And that was what we saw at the beginning of Daredevil Seasons 2, so it was really cool to see that come full circle. So, you know, I'm a big fan of this Netflix universe. I like this universe a lot better than the way it's going for the cinematic universe. The Netflix stuff is a lot better from Jessica Jones to Daredevil to now to The Punisher and The Defenders. I mean, these are great shows. They're keeping me more entertained. They're keeping me more enthralled, more intrigued. Uh, I think there's better character development. I've said this in the past, but uh, yeah, it was a really good uh, way to premiere the series. Um, 
And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to watching the whole thing. So I definitely recommend that you go watch this. This was a great first episode. Um, it made me want to come back for more. I had high hopes for this series. I knew it was going to be good. No surprise that the critics are giving it a tough time. 67% on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Really? Well, you know, you can't impress everybody, but it's a great show. Um, and I, I recommend it. Until next time, guys.